My name is Jonathan and today you're gonna see how to self-host DeepSeek. If you haven't heard about the release of the new DeepSeek model R1, I'll give you a quick overview. Then we're gonna jump into self-host it locally in your machine. And then we're gonna self-host it on AWS. So in simple words, just an overview about what is R1 and so on. DeepSeek is a Chinese company similar to OpenAI. They are developing AI models. They are not a new company, but they just got to the spotlight recently because of the new stunt they made. So they have like open source LLM model similar to GPTO and Claude. Recently, they released the reasoning model, the DeepSeek R1. And here we can see the comparison in terms of performance. And we see that it outperforms GPT-40, 1.0 mini, and all of them by, by a ton. So compared GPT-40 to the strongest one in R1, it's like 10X almost. And you can also see everything here. And also there is like a price comparison. A lot of people are asking like, what's the difference between OpenAI and DeepSeek right now? Is that first of all, it's like the tenth of the cost. And if we'll take a look at this cool article that demonstrates the comparison between OpenAI and DeepSeek, they add like 10X less budget and the cost of the tokens are way less and all sorts of other cool stuff maybe I'll link it down below and most importantly these models are open source meaning you can see how they are implemented you can self-host them on your own machines of course if you don't want China to take your data you want to self-host it for yourself so this is what we're gonna do in this video now display actually changes everything in the AI space because it proves you can build quality AI model cheap with a small team low budget and you can also open source it so the whole space of AI has changed forever and of course OpenAI is the pioneer and maybe they will keep being the leader but then new players are coming up better performance and are executing better than OpenAI and they get to these amazing results now as I see it they did it so fast and low budget first of all because OpenAI started this trail and they came and built on top of what they already done but also they focused on shipping fast and acting more like a startup versus doing all the bureaucracy and all the things that's happening right now in OpenAI. And the cool thing is now you add to use ChatGPT or the OpenAI API that is hosted on OpenAI servers. You could not self-host it on your own machine, but now with DeepSeek, not only we have a stronger model, but we can also self-host it on our machines. So we have way more flexibility. Of course, you'll need a strong machines and I already checked the numbers. If we take a look at the comparison by DeepSeek, we see that if you host it on Lambda Labs, the strongest one, it's around $23,000 a month. And I'm not sure how accurate is this, but essentially anyone can now become a vendor of AI as long as you have $30,000 a month. You can build your own APIs, give people access and people will use it and you don't need to be bounded to OpenAI. And what happened because of this change is it changing the whole space because now OpenAI is forced to give back more to the user. So we see immediately after the release of DeepSeek, which was released on the 20th, three days later, we see this tweet from uh, Sam Altman uh, saying that O3 Mini will be released for the free tier. What, did, what happened here? DeepSeek is forcing OpenAI to release more to the end user. At the end of the day, it's a huge win for the AI community, the open space community, and for all the builders, because now you have so much power for such low budget. Not only the models are high quality, cheaper to develop, and you can self-host them and they are open source, but also the way the company executed this by being a low budget, small team and less time, it shows to the small builders like me, the bootstrap people, the people that have no funding, that you can do it even against the VC companies. So the crack is opening right now. It used to be that you need tons of money to build you know, huge companies and impact the world. Now the little guy or everyone can build like a huge impact on the world and it's crazy to see that. And this is why it's so exciting. And on top of that, it shows that no one is safe on this AI space. You think you are the leader, you think you can. You see that even the leader, OpenAI, is getting eat by this small company from China. And I think overall it's pretty good because it keeps a very healthy competition. Now they have to give back to the user. They have to keep innovate because they have someone behind them versus they are the big monopoly that is controlling everything and they decide what happens. Now they are not dictating the pace, but there is a, a lot of companies, they do it now and they have to deliver and they, there is a higher standard now, which is overall great for the whole world essentially and the AI space specifically. So let's start by locally running the models you need Olama to run it. And this is actually the strongest one, which I cannot run on my computer because it's just a Mac OS, but we are gonna run the 7B model. After you installed Olama, you can do Olama. 
and then we run Olama run, and then it's gonna download the model for us. Make sure you run it sudo so it actually opens the ports for you. Great, now we have the model running, let's just say hi. And here we see the thinking, so it's a reasoning model, so we see that it thinks. Great, and if we wanna access it by an API, we can just see URL this, and we can also put it here. And we see that Olama is running. Now let's run it locally with code so we can build AI agents with our local strong model. What we're gonna do is install Pydentic AI Slim and then we are generating this model. So first of all, this is the model we are using. Here we wanna put local host and this is our model. Then we are creating an object of a agent. We're sending the model and we send hello world. Let's run this one. It's really slow, but after a few seconds we saw that it was thinking about this, what to say, and then we got a response locally on our machine, pretty cool. Great, now let's self-host it now on AWS, and we are still gonna use the several billion model. This is not for production, I just wanna show you for educational purposes how you can self-host your own model. And if you wanna host the, the most powerful one, the 671 billion model, this is not an accurate uh, calculation, but it will cost around $30,000 a month. So essentially anyone can become now an AI API provider if they have $30,000 a month. And you can also become OpenAI tomorrow if you have 30K a month. So go to EC2, we're gonna launch a new instance. We're gonna call it test DeepSeek. We're gonna take T3 large. I tried this by the way with uh, medium and it was uh, way too small. So make sure that you have at least eight giga of uh, memory RAM because it's a five giga RAM model. Create your uh, pair. Create new security group. And in the disk, put at least 20 gigas. Let's put 30. And by the way, if you want to see these guides before they are uh, released on YouTube, I post them first on Twitter. So there is the old guys step by step on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there so you get updates. That's it. That's all we need. So we're going to do launch instance. Now that it's running, we are going to connect to it. We're going to do sudo sh. And then we're just going to follow these steps. So first of all, we need to install Olama. So by the way, it mentions that it has no GPU. We are only running on the CPU, but it will still run. It will be really slow. But again, just for educational purposes. Next, we're gonna just do the same as we did here. Download the, the model. Great, now we can test it on our instance. Great, we see that it works. Now we wanna be able to access it outside of our instance, right? So currently it's listening to, to the local host. We want to open it to the whole network. So we need to set up the configuration inside of uh, Olama and we're just gonna edit this one. So we're gonna copy these two commands. We're gonna put this one. We're gonna save it. We're gonna restart the Olama. Next, we wanna go to the security group. We need to be able to access it from outside. So we're just gonna click here. We're gonna edit inbound rules. Here we're gonna add a rule, custom, 11434. Here we're gonna edit for editing, we're gonna save rules. By the way, this is the not, not the safest way to do it. Obviously in, re in production, you will never do something like this because you don't want anyone to access this, but just for learning purposes. And we're gonna run this command to check our IP address. We're gonna paste it here. And this is our IP address. And if we try to access it now, let's take a look. Oh, Lama is running. Great, so we copy this one, we go back to our code. We go here, we run it, and after like one minute, we got the response back. So pretty cool, now I have an API that is hosted on AWS. Of course, I need to pay for this, and the T3 large is costing $70 a month if you run it consistently. Normally, what you would like to do is use, use the GPU. The cheapest one to use on AWS is a G4DN, so you can use it as well. And if you are running it 24-7, it will cost you around the $130 a month. Now, if you want to improve it even more, you have an homework, you can take it and run it on a GPU. It's basically the same process as we've done so far just you need to activate the GPU and of, of course run an instance that has a GPU like G4DN. In production normally what you would do is you implement kind of a rate limiting and not everyone will be able to access it maybe some user management so you want to have a layer of an API on top of this do some kind of rate limiting and then call the model from the local machine uh, other than having everyone access it just like, like we did in this video. If you wanna watch more videos about how to build AI agents, rugs, we also built a lead generation chatbot on this channel. There is videos below, I'm gonna link them below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe, like. If you need help launching your AI agent, AI SaaS, AI application, 
and you want to make sure that you launch it in days and not in months, make sure to connect with me on LinkedIn and I can guide you through how you can build your own use case, build a plan on how you can execute it quickly. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.